At the end of the 2022 season, I made some predictions going into the 2023 season on who would actually win the four Grand Slams. Uh, we're going to go through both the men and the women's results for that, and we're going to go react to that and see how close I was. This is who you guys have picked for the Australian Open, and you've got Iga Sviantec. Now, well and truly the best player of the season in 2022, and you picked her ahead of Jabir and Garcia. So, interesting to see how Sviantec does. Got to the semi-final this year, so not a bad pick. I've actually gone with Garcia for this one, because I feel like the Australian Open, with the heat and the court surface being a bit quicker, might favor some of those bigger hitters, and I think Sviantec might struggle a little bit. So, I'm going to go with Garcia just to be a little bit different for the first tournament of the season. So look, both of us got it wrong. Sviontek made the fourth round. Garcia barely did anything. In fact, she started the year off pretty well, but then after that, completely fell off. But Sviontek did make the fourth round. She did lose to Rabakina, who was a big hitter, so... I guess kind of right, but uh, in terms of not making, not picking her to go far, but Sabalenka won, beat Rebecca in the final, and Garcia or Sviantec were nowhere near the quarterfinals or beyond. So with the Australian Open coming up in a few weeks' time, you guys voted that Novak Djokovic is going to be the Australian Open champion ahead of Nadal and Alcaraz, and that was through a poll on YouTube. And I'm also going with Djokovic. I think that he showed at the end of the last season that when he's on court, he's near unstoppable, and of course, being banned from last year's Australian Open, I think he'll be out for revenge. So we're both going with Djokovic, and he's definitely the favorite to take the trophy. All right, no surprise there. We've gone with the most winningest champion at the Australian Open, and Djokovic was allowed to play the Australian Open, which definitely helped, because last year, of course, he was banned in 2022. So he played, he won, and we both got that prediction right. Having got the French Open now, and again, you guys have gone with Igor Sviantec, who is the defending champion. And I've also gone with Igor Sviantec. She lost one match on clay this year. So hard to pick against her at the French Open. The slower the surface, Gives her a little bit more time to hit the ball. Actually picked her ahead of Jabir and Goff. So I agree. Fiontech, French Open. I think she is the clay court queen at the moment. All right. So we both went with the easy pick and we both got it right. Fiontech won the French Open pretty easily as well. She didn't do too bad on the clay overall. Only lost a couple of matches here and there. But Fiontech, she did win the French Open last year. And she has won three of the last four French Opens. And I'm sure next year we're probably going to pick her again. Heading over to the French Open now. And again, with a vote on YouTube, you guys picked Nadal just ahead of Djokovic at the French Open next year. And I'm also going with Rafa. It's so hard not to pick Rafa because it's so rare that he actually loses at the French Open. So I think that we're both going with the obvious pick, but also the safe pick. Now, that was a tough one because, of course, 12 months ago, Rafa was doing okay. He was healthy. He wasn't injured. He wasn't winning, but... You know, clay court tennis, Rafa is a totally different Rafa. Who would have thought that he wouldn't play at all for the entire season? He only, you know, got to play the Australian Open for a couple of matches, then got injured, and we haven't seen him since. So we'll see if Rafa gets the prediction vote next year for the French Open. But I, look, uh, Djokovic won. Maybe we could have picked Djokovic, but Rafa, the king of clay, and he wasn't injured 12 months ago. Having a look at Wimbledon now, and this was the closest votes because, of course, Wimbledon has been a little bit random over the years for the ladies. And you guys have also gone with Fiontech. So it's, again, so hard to not pick her, I guess, because she had such a good season. But who else are you going to pick? It's always very tough. I've actually gone with Sabalenka. Now, I picked Sabalenka to win the Wimbledon this year. Of course, didn't get to play because of the ban to the Russian and Belarusian players. But I'm going to go with her this year because I think that Wimbledon are going to let them play. And I'm going to go with Sabalenka. I think her game suits the courts of Wimbledon. And I think she can get the win there. But you guys are going Sviantec. I'm going Sabalenka. We'll see what happens. It might be someone totally different. Okay, so Sviantec again. Didn't do too bad at Wimbledon. Actually had her best result at Wimbledon. I went Sabalenka. She was allowed to play, luckily. So, I, you know, I picked her last year. She wasn't allowed to play. So, at least this year, she was there. And she wasn't making in the semifinals as well. So, she did make it far. But, unfortunately, lost to Jabir in the end. Uh, Svetlina ended up beating Sviantec in the quarterfinals of the Wimbledon. So, again, both got it wrong. Von Drusova winning the whole thing against Jabir. Who would have picked Von Drusova at the start of the year? Heading over to Wimbledon now. And this has been dominated by the GOATs over the last couple of decades. And you guys voted Djokovic to win Wimbledon. And I've also voted for Djokovic. It's, again, it's so hard not to pick against the guys who have dominated these tournaments over the last decade. And Wimbledon seems to be the one that doesn't have random champions. It's always Djokovic, Nadal, or it was Federer when he was playing. So we're both going with Djokovic for this one. Again, probably the safe bet. All right, so Alcaraz got the surprise win, beating Djokovic in the final. We went too far off. And look, he was the first player, Alcaraz, to win Wimbledon outside of the big four since like 2002 or something. So Federer, Nadal, Murray, Djokovic, they dominate this event. Elkres finally gets his win and beats Djokovic in that epic final, probably match of the year. But, man, if we pick Djokovic for this one, it's not the worst pick. He almost got the win if he won that second set. But, uh, you know, Elkres got the win. Historic. 
and massive. And heading to the US Open now, and again, you guys have gone with Igish Fiontek. So, Fiontek all round to win every single slam. Now, she's going to probably win at least one or maybe two of those. So, you're probably not going to get too many wrong. And obviously, she is the defending champion at the US. But I'm going to go with Ons Jabeur. I think that she was so close in that final. She played so well up until the final at the US Open. And again, both of us got it wrong. Maybe we thought too much about it. Remember, the US Open is super random. So, maybe we should have picked someone a little bit more random. Goff beat Sabalenka. Maybe we should have gone with Sabalenka in the end because Sabalenka did win the Australian Open, made the final of the US. Goff had a great season from that US Open period onwards and made the uh, one of first Grand Slam, which maybe nobody had predicted 12 months ago. But look, Sviantek and Jabir, not the worst predictions, but they didn't go very far. Final event of the year being the US Open, which does produce random champions. And you guys are going with Novak Djokovic to win the US Open ahead of Alcaraz and Nadal. Now, this is where I've gone a little different. I've gone Alexander Zverev. After what we saw the last few weeks, and I'm expecting by the time we get to the clay court season, Zverev, if he's healthy, will be back in form. He could well and truly win the US Open, and maybe the injury that he had over the last six months will kick him back into gear and want to achieve some glory as... Guys like Medvedev and Elkris have done in the past. All right, so you guys went Djokovic, and Djokovic beat Medvedev in the final. I thought I'd go a little different. I went with Zverev. He did do okay. He beat uh, Sinner in five sets, so he did do some damage there. He did lose to Elkris in the end in the quarterfinals, and Elkris, of course, then lost to Medvedev, who then lost to Djokovic. So I'm not too mad at that prediction, but I should have just gone with the easy one, pick Djokovic, or at least pick one of the GOATs, because they're always the favorite of these slams. But that was for this year. Let me know down in the comments below how many you actually got right for the ladies and for the men's predictions because it's not easy picking 12 months out as we found out with Rafa the hard way. And of course, guys like Elkaraz winning Wimbledon, Von Drusseva coming out of nowhere, you know, Goff playing well at the US Open. Let me know in the comments below as well. What are your predictions for next year? We will be doing this video again towards the end of the year so we can try and see how our predictions go. But you guys actually voted really well, especially on the GOAT side of things, getting a lot right. But it's not easy doing this. And let me know in the comments below how many you actually got right on your predictions this year.